And I hope that our grandchildren at our age can look back and say, the 20th century was a century of advancement and improvement in technology. And the 21st century was a century of advancement and improvement in human character. Telestarmus Festival que se está celebrando hasta el próximo. Los mejores científicos, astronautas y artistas de fama mundial tienen un punto de encuentro con el día de el primer festival que consigue reunir en el mismo espacio astronomía, fotos espaciales, arte y fotografía en el mar comparable. El Estarmus Festival se celebrará en 20 de abril, cuando de punto de vista de la Tierra y la Palma. Víctor, ¿de qué es la ciudad? People have asked me, what's so great about this photograph? I have three words. Location, location, location. Umion, abayatelen, on yvelayetsa alicetvarenyem vechnay moladosti nashay planety. This rocket is a uh, 175-ton payloads. Between 10 to the 9 to 10, 110 to the 9 solar system in the Milky Way. Singularity is, in fact, a place that is governed by the laws of quantum gravity, which we don't understand very well. If we see a gamma ray burst, at the same time as we see the gravitational radiation, we have the smoking gun for the phenomenon. If there, if there is life, out there in different environments, is it going to be kind of what we're familiar with, more or less, in a chemical sense? This iPhone that I hold in my hand, in the palm of my hand, is more than 600 times more powerful than the onboard computers that flew that Columbia. There may be evolved creatures so far advanced over us that if we were ever to meet them, we would fall down and worship them as gods. The universe is a lot more surprising and unexpected than we can imagine. We have been in a time when the sun was extremely active. An astronaut has three personalities before the space flight, during the space flight, and after the space flight. We were getting, we, the, our Central Intelligence agents, the others, were getting uh, signals that the Soviet Union was going to, uh, to uh, uh, do a high altitude uh, flight around the moon. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was when the lead weight went to the bottom of my stomach. When I got that searing sensation of being in deep trouble and not knowing how to get out of it. But I held my arm up like this in lunar orbit, and sure enough, underneath my hand was the Earth. And at that distance, uh, the thought occurred to me like it did to Jim, you know, there is five billion people under my hand. Bien. Oh, did we encounter extraterrestrial life? Sí, la realidad. Uh, no. Sí, I didn't. Sí, sí, aliens. Lovell and Borman were close to that. see the whole history of the universe stretching out in front of us. So that's our goal. So this is the universe, and this has led to what has been called the greatest problem in physics today.
This is the most amazing sound that you get when you add all the stars in our galaxy, all clusters and everything. And so the discoveries that I will present to you are the ones that at the current time seem to be driving most of the observational and theoretical research in the field of astrophysics. And so at SETI, what we're trying to do is to change the verb to believe into the verb to explore. It's fascinating. It excites the mind of many more people than you think. But for many people, it's latent. It's not, it needs to be awakened. If we do open this door wide, can we, as concerned scientists, artists and human beings, find a way to propagate just the decent parts of our civilization? Not cruelty, but empathy and compassion. Not greed, but generosity. Not conflict, but cooperation. Not war, but peace. Thank you.